Good afternoon, ladies and germs. We are gathered here today to look at some more bike porn. Right here behind me, I have a 2018 S-Works Epic hardtail. Runs a Shimano XTR Di2 Roval 29er wheel set. Uh, it's a beautiful bike that's caused me and my head mechanic here uh, quite the bit of headache, specifically with this uh, one shifter two ring 11 speed XTR Di2. Uh, it's been a mind melter. This is another build, build for our friend Enrique who's coming down to get this one right now. So I have just been handed this. I gotta figure out how the hell to use it and customize the shift functions for Homeboy. Uh, Enrique and everyone else, let's take a closer look at this bike. 2018 S-Works Epic Hardtail, Shimano XTR Di2, Roval Control SL 29er wheel set. Uh, as most of you know, Roval's guts are DT Swiss because they're awesome. This uses a race face slash next uh, carbon two ring crank set, reaching to an 11 speed 40 tooth at the, the high end there. Um, XTR set. We have RockShox times Brain. Brain is part of the specialized umbrella. Short travel fork here. All our beautiful rebound and compression. Shimano XTR. This is the 800 series throughout. This is our hydraulic disc brake setup. Nice rubber. Fast Track is a nice trail rubber. It's, a, it's quick, it's light, it's grippy. Nice carbon hoops there. Fork bump stop from Specialized. This is real nice, keeping our fork nice, keeping our frame nice. Uh, we didn't need these. We might plug these up uh, because we're running DI2. Check out that carbon lever on the, DI, or on the <laughs> XTR brake lever there. Here is our one shifter for friggin everything our display unit here SWAT tools inside our steer tube let's look down it's our beautiful carbon crank set these are probably going to go to um, maybe specialized bennies we'll see XTR DI2 front mech 2 by we can see in there XTR DI2 rear mech plus clutch 9000 series brake caliper obviously S-Works carbon seat post S-Works Phenom saddle beautiful build so the way that this comes the XTR out of the box is that it uses what they call synchro shift so what happens is it's really a series of shifts on the rear mech that automatically actuate uh, the front rings and the way this works is you essentially in the large ring you'll climb all the way to the largest cog you'll shift again and it will jump to the lower ring and shift back up one to compensate the the ratio so that you still have one left then you can go up and down then what happens is you shift I think it's five if you shift to five it will shift up on the front ring and shift down one on the rear cassette again to make a smooth transition. You can customize and set this up however the hell you want. This is how it comes out of the box. I'm getting familiar with it. Uh, once I think once you kind of understand what's happening here and the, the cog setup and the workflow back here, it, it's pretty intuitive. However, both of these buttons have, I'm not going to do it here in the video, but they have a single click. It's almost like SRAM double tap. A single click and then you push it further and it has a second click. This is for both triggers. What that means is you can actually set up, as an example, this trigger will be the front derailleur. One click goes one direction, two clicks goes the other. This could be our rear derailleur, same story. One click goes one direction, 
two clicks goes the other. Uh, you can set up the synchro shift in a number of ways. It's really, really customizable, and that's kind of what makes it a little confusing. Uh, and now they've thrown in, very specifically for their new displays, uh, and it will push through this to the rest of the group, the update. So you can use this through their app. Uh, I've had marginal success with the app. We'll see how it works here. One thing I did miss is this is the new print for the S-Works carbon bars, and it's, they're beautiful, man. This is a really, really nice bike. Uh, comes already with the side pull carbon S-Works Z cage and the EMT mountain tool, which is just a cool little piece of kit, which basically means uh, if you run this tubeless, which is not set up for now, you can carry like a little Dyna plug in your pocket and that's it. Uh, this one runs tubes. It comes with the tape and the valves and everything. It's just a personal choice. So, S-Works Epic Hardtail 29 2018 XTR Di2. Mouthful of a bike and just plain a whole lot of bike. Have fun, Enrique.